Hello, welcome to Rocky's Academic Academy. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to draw a square pyramid. Now, the square pyramid is different from other pyramids because it has a square base. That's why it's called a square pyramid. Not only does it have a square base, it's a three-dimensional geometric figure. You can see it from three dimensions. It has four triangular faces. All of the triangular faces connect at one point. That point is called a vertex. It is also considered a closed figure. Unlike a box that you can open up, a square pyramid is closed. Now the base of the square pyramid is a square, but what's interesting is when I draw this base, it's not going to appear to be a square, but it is. Here's an example. This is going to look like the base of my square pyramid. However, if I rotate it and if I tilt it, it no longer looks like a square, but it's still a square. It's just that it is rotated and tilted. From the perspective that we're going to be looking at, it's going to appear that the square base is not square, although it is. It's just we're looking at it from different perspective. Now if we looked at the square pyramid from the top, it would look like a square. So I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to tilt the base to form the square. Now to begin the base, the first step is drawing a point. A point is a dot in space. Then I'm going to go horizontally across from this point and I'm going to draw another point. Remember horizontal lines go this way although I'm not drawing a line segment that's horizontal I'm going across horizontally. Then I'm going to go to the center of these two points and I'm going to go up vertically and I'm going to draw another point. From this point I'm going to go down vertically and I'm going to draw another point. Now I'm going to connect all these points with diagonal line segments. I try to draw them as straight as possible. Now if, you're, if you are drawing using a pencil and you're unhappy with something, for example, I'm unhappy with this line, so I can go back and I can erase it and I can try it all over again. So I'm going to go horizontally across, I'm going to create another point, I'm going to try it again. And then I connect, and I'm much happier with this diagonal line segment. Then I'm going to connect this point to this point, and this forms a corner, these are called corners, and then another diagonal line segment to close the base of my pyramid. Now remember, it's a square, but it's rotated and it's tilted. So it doesn't quite look like a square, but essentially it is. And remember, a square has all congruent sides. All sides are equal. Now from the center part of the base, I'm going to go up vertically, and I'm going to put another point. Then I'm going to take this point, I'm going to draw a vertical, excuse me, a diagonal line segment and connect to the corner of the base. From the point I'm going to connect to this corner and from this point I'm going to connect to this corner and from this point I'm going to connect to this corner. Now the pyramid has four triangular faces and a square base. Here's the square base, here's one of the triangular faces another one of the triangular faces, and then if you could see inside this pyramid you'd notice that there's another triangular face and then another triangular face to the left. All these connections are, are called vertices. If you're talking about one of them it's called a vertex, so this would be a vertex, that's a vertex, a vertex, because three edges meet here. But if you're if you're talking about plural, it would be vertices. So these are all vertices. Another way of saying it is corners. Now, if I want to show that I'm looking inside this pyramid, then I'm going to take a little eraser and I'm going to erase part of the lines 
to make what looks like a dotted line so it appears like we're looking inside the pyramid. This line is an interior line. Now you can't see the line behind here. There's actually a line behind this big long diagonal line. We can't see that. So I'm not I don't need to draw I, I don't need to erase any of the lines. Now if I want to decorate my pyramid, I can erase the interior lines. And sometimes when you're racing, you accidentally go over your line, so you may have to draw your lines again. So I may have to go over these lines one more time. Now, from the base right here, this diagonal line, I'm going to make more lines that follow the angle that I'm drawing these at. Now this diagonal line goes this way, so I'm going to connect to each of the end of these lines. I'm going to make line segments that follow the direction that this diagonal line segment is going in. Then to make it look like my pyramid has bricks, I'm going to draw some lines inside like this. And there you have it, a pyramid.